Hello, so here we are on the next stage of the carb rebuild. Uh, we've put the air cutoff um, valve on here, we've put it back together, we've put the float and the float valve in, we've measured the float height, and so this, this is coming together quite nicely. The, the next part is to put in the pilot jet. Sorry, no, the pilot screw. Now, the pilot screw, you shouldn't normally take these out because these are very... Um, uh, they're very sensitive and the factory set and so if you can leave them in that's the best thing you can do um, if you do take them out and here's the one that came out of this valve here uh, this carburetor if you do take them out and you intend reusing them calculate how many turns you take to actually take it out so that you can then put it back in exactly the same position you can see by the size of it that it is a very 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 sensitive little um, device and so you want to make sure you've got it right so that's the item that it came out. It comes out of this port here. So when you're looking at the, the carburetor itself, you've got the choke on this side and the throttle on this side. And it is on the throttle side and the pilot screws here. And it feeds into a very, very small hole in the uh, carb body. I don't know if you can see it at the top of there. Um, it, it feeds into the throttle just where the throttle closes. And, and so therefore allows the, the bike to run uh, when the throttle is closed. Now, it also feeds into one of these other areas here so I'm going to make sure by blowing in through here that there is communication between this port and the port on the inside of the body and also into the other side. So you can hear that by blowing in through here that it is coming through into the main body and when I plug the, the port with my finger it also flows through into the other, other uh, other jets so I'm, I'm happy with that I've, I've bought some new components as part of the, the, the kit and here is the throttle uh, the pilot screw itself and so that's what it looks like um, as you assemble it so you put the spring on then the washer and then the o-ring it should all be new, especially the O-ring, um, and that's the, the assembly. Now, before you put it in, you need to make sure that the O-ring and the washer have come out of this port beforehand. Sometimes they're, they're stuck and they're a bit of a pig to get out. Make sure they come out. So when you've got this assembly like this and you're ready to put it in, do not put it in in this orientation because when you turn this upside down, the O-ring is likely to fall off, it's likely to cock, it's not going to seat properly. Um, and so therefore you're going to end up in a lot of difficulty. So make sure that when you assemble it, that it is like this, and you put it in like that. Now, once you've got it into this position here, you will be able to screw the, the, um, the, the pilot screw in, um, and then you're in a position to to set the pilot screw however that has to be done with the engine running so the best thing to do is to screw it in and then uh, screw it all the way in to make sure that the o-ring is put into its seat correctly and then you back it out a quarter of a turn um, and then when you actually start running the vehicle that's when you're able to set these properly but that's a, a, a completely separate episode so that's the pilot screw assembly um, and the, the, the next stage we'll be looking at will be putting the, the jets into the device